Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm <laughs> doing pretty good. Uh, I just tried something because I had these decal stickers that I want to put on these colors and they match kind of perfect to the stickers. I'll show you the stickers when I'm done here. And uh, just came out too much salmon color. It was just kind of loaded with it. So I just put some white on the top. It don't matter if it's like little dioxazine purple in it because I'm going to blow hair blower this. Okay. So I'm using Artist Loft White Flow right here. Everything is mixed with two parts flow trawl, one part paint, just a little bit of water. I also have this uh, natural gray and I add phthalo blue to it or and some cobalt blue to give it kind of like an off blue. I really don't know the name of the color to be honest with you. I'm not real good with it, but then I have dioxazine purple, not a whole bunch. A crimson, Alzerian crimson. <laughs> and then I have some bright salmon. Okay. So wish me luck on this one because I want to use this as pretty background for those butterflies. Okay. I'm thinking it might work out. Just need to add a little bit more water to that one there. More paint in there too. Okay. So here goes. I'll start with the dioxazine purple. With some of the red, not too much, or crimson. I mean, if I could pour it right. <laughs> okay, you never know. Then this. I'm gonna call it stuff. That was quite a bit in one corner. That's all right. I think these colors look pretty together. You tell me what you think. Those colors look really good together. But I have some of this salmon, which I'm only going to put a tiny bit. What do you think of those colors? <laughs> okay. So, here we go. Don't know if I'll end up blowing it out. Don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to mute this. So that will really look good with the butterflies.
There we go. That's <laughs> really nice. Uh, there was like that, a big chunk of purple here I needed to get off, so it took me a long time. So most of that I kind of just fast forward and then kind of, you know, skipped a few little areas of editing, just tilting. You couldn't have seen it anyway because it's sitting up tilting it. I don't know how to ever show you that. I think you can understand what I'm saying, but I love this. It is beautiful. And I'm so glad I didn't get carried away with the salmon this time. Oh my gosh. You should have seen it. It just clashed. The salmon was just way too much. Can imagine that with too much. It's perfect. So I'll show you the stickers in a minute that I'm going to put on. where I just struggled to get that purple off and look at how beautiful it is now. Perfect amount. Look at this, just streaks of little red too, which is kind of nice. Either way, I could put the butterflies here. Here's maybe three of them. I don't know yet. Hey, you guys can tell me what you think or have it this direction with butterflies. So yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, so here's my stickers. Tell me those aren't gonna match. So trying to look for one that's got the same more of that dioxy. See, this is dioxazine purple back here. This is not black. Uh, it's got the salmon in it. It's got the red crimson, that gray, blue, dioxazine purple. Then there's little baby ones. So I don't know which one I'll pick, but I'll pick one of them. So yeah, this is a pretty one too. So, hmm. Definitely want to have some of that more blue. This one's pretty. That one's good. It's got a lot of those same colors. Let's just take a look real quick. So what I plan on doing is more or less what uh, people taught me. Mod Podge on there once it's dry. Maybe two more small and baby ones or something. Who knows? I don't know if I'm picking this one either. But what do you think? What do you guys think about that? Or just one in the middle or what? But I'm sure loving this outcome. Oh, it's really perfect for those, I think. Because... The other one was just like too gaudy and it was like bold in the background. It didn't look soft like this one. Anyway, I take forever. So before I end this, if you want to check out any clear photos of anything I do on YouTube, you know, besides on this video, you can always go into my description. There's a link to my Facebook business page where I post clear photos. Okay. Okay, so here we go. This one's a good quote. And I actually have never heard this before. <laughs> I bet you a lot of people have, but I never did. And that's surprising because I actually have a positive vibes group in, in Facebook with 2,000 people. Or 20,000 people, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a secret group, but the only way people can kind of go into the group because I made it secret because too many people were coming in. Too many trolls, and now it's nice, a nice little group, good, solid people, no trouble, no nothing. 
And so I'm all about positive quotes. Have been for three years I, I started that group up. Just to help me stay positive every day I read quotes. And posted them and all that good stuff. So yeah, you can friend request me and then I can always add you into the group. Uh, make sure you let me know that when you do friend request me, you know, leave a message, a private message that you'd like to be added to the private, to positive vibes, it's called, okay? Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, take another shot. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it very much. Welcome to all the new subscribers and all. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, leave a comment. Introduce yourself. I appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Have a good week. Most importantly, stay positive. Bye-bye now.